Hello, everyone. My name is Raymond Merriman. I'm the founder and president of the Merriman Market Analyst Incorporated, and also the founder of MMTA, the Merriman Market Timing Academy. And with me today is Johnny DiPoche. Johnny, say hi to everybody. Hi, Ray. I'm Gianni DiPoche. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. And uh, we're very excited to talk about uh, the Merriman Market Timing Academy today. That's exactly why we're here, Johnny. Uh, we're going to present to you information on a very rare opportunity. We haven't taught MMTA since 2013, 2014. This is the first time in six, seven years it's been offered and it won't be offered again for at least another two years. So this is a unique opportunity that we wanna discuss with you today. If you are sincere and passionate about learning how to understand and trade financial markets. When you take this course, you'll no longer be at the mercy of having to depend upon anybody else for financial advice as a trader, as an investor. You will know exactly where you are at any given point in time in any market just by understanding cycles and their correlation with geocosmic studies and how they integrate with trend analysis, chart patterns, and technical analysis. So through this course, you'll become an exceptional market timer, market analyst, and you will take control of your own financial destiny. Right, Johnny? That's correct, Ray. It's allowed me to do that. Uh, before I started using Ray's methods to the fullest extent, I was a financial advisor at a $250 million uh, firm. Uh, but then I got uh, into Ray's methods and needless to say, it's been life-changing. Uh, I'm no longer at that firm anymore. And if I'm not mistaken, your own personal trading account has appreciated over 50% in each of the last two years since you started applying yeah. these methods actively, correct? Yeah, and, and large, largely thanks to the MMTA methods. I think they're powerful. And, and just to show everybody how these methods work, uh, as far as timing markets, let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average for this year, a daily chart. Here on the screen, you'll see numbers one, two, three, and four. These are the four most advantageous times during the year to have taken a position in the Dow Jones or any stock market index. The top one there, number one, represents the all-time high in the Dow, 29,568 on February 12th. One week later, February 20th, the NASDAQ and the uh, S&P made a high from which the market fell all the way to number two, which is March 23rd. Now going back number one, that February 12th, the all-time high, that was an MMA critical reversal day right in the middle of those two highs, February 17th. Number two, which was the end of the biggest decline we've had in several years, 38% decline, was on March 23rd. That was within three days of our March 26th three-star geocosmic critical reversal date. From there, the market went all the way up till September 3rd, number three. That was actually a new all-time high in the NASDAQ and S&P. And it was one day before our September 4th three-star critical reversal date. We had a secondary high a month later, October 12th, number four. And that was, as I say, another three star for a reversal day. Those four days were the most important turning points of this year. And each of those coincided to the exact date or within three trading days of an MMA critical reversal date. These are just a few examples of the turning points that you can identify ahead of time, far ahead of time, with knowledge of MMA's cyclical and geocosmic studies, the leading indicators. Now, what I wanna do is have Gianni take over here and discuss with you the way in which you will be able to learn the MMA market timing methodology. So here to talk about that again is Johnny DiPoche, the director of MMTA. Johnny? 
Thanks, Ray. So MMTA is going to begin in January of 2021. The first class will be January 16th. This is a two-year program designed to reveal Ray's methods that he's developed over the last 40 years. So the courses are going to be taught by Ray and myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, Ray has his 40 plus years of experience. He's a registered CTA, which is a commodities trading advisor. He's the founder and president of MMA uh, Cycles. I myself, I bring over eight years of trading experience to the table. I was a financial advisor for over five years. I hold a bachelor's degree in economics with a very strong uh, background and knowledge, especially in macroeconomic, macroeconomic uh, knowledge. And currently, uh, I cover a variety of markets for MMA as well, including T-notes, uh, the Australian stock market, the Australian dollar, um, the editor of the crude oil report, but I also cover live cattle, cannabis, and I'm going to be picking up soybeans next year as well. So very excited to launch this course, having completed it myself. Um, and taken all the exams, gone through all the material. I've read pretty much all of Ray's books. They're all excellent, would highly uh, recommend. Uh, everyone takes a look at them too. Uh, but basically we're gonna lay it all on the line right here and we're gonna teach you how to uh, be a successful uh, market operator and how to spot and identify trends and reversals and how to uh, get in and get out uh, at the right time and at the right price. See, one of the things that you bring to the table to add on to the uh, market timing skills and trend analysis factors that I put together is your background in fundamental analysis. Not only are you an excellent market timer and technician, but you got this fundamental background too through your um, uh, experience with the, uh, um, you know, with the, the money managers that you worked with and also your education, getting that degree in economics from the University of Michigan, one of the top uh, universities in, in the world. So I think putting these two things together, Johnny, which you've got combined with what I've got is gonna, again, uh, enhance the learning experience of everybody who, who decides to take this course. Yeah, I agree as well. And I can put up a uh, schedule on the screen. <laughs> Uh, for when the course is going to begin, like I mentioned, January 16th, all of these courses are going to be two hours long each on Saturdays at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And each course lasts approximately uh, six to eight weeks, depending on the length of the course. And then there's going to be a one month break in between each course. And then you'll notice uh, on the schedule here, that there is going to be a three month break in between the first half and the second half of the course. So uh, the titles of the courses are on this uh, background here. And like I said, we're gonna cover everything. You're gonna be able to look at a chart, determine the trend, uh, look at these cycles, analyze where we are in the cycles and what your trading strategy should be at that point. And you know, uh, determine the, the favorable price entry points, uh, favorable risk reward opportunities, because that's what uh, successful trading is all about. You know, the difference between the course we're offering in 2021 and 2022 is, is that you can take this course in your home or in your office. It's an online course. Right. Two, you know, seven, eight years ago when we did this, you had to come from long distances in most cases. We had 40 people start with us uh, in 2013. It's a rigorous course, only 20 finished it because it was a little bit difficult. But of those people who took the course, half of them were from overseas. So there's a couple things you're gonna get. One, you're gonna save a lot of money because you're not gonna have travel expenses. Second of all, you're still gonna have the opportunity to work with other people who have the same passion you have with financial markets because some of the, uh, some of the exercises we go through are going to be with other people in your class. And that's gonna allow you to develop strong bonds. And I can't, I can't stress enough how important that is and has been in the past. The people who graduated from MMTA one in 2013, 2014, still to this day, many of them work together. Many of them have become very uh, excellent market timing analysts in their own right. Many of them manage monies right now. Several of them work for us uh, on different MMA market letters we have.
but I think every one of them have benefited not only from the information, but from the experience of working together. And I will say one more thing, even after the first class, everyone walked out with a sense of, wow, what did I just learn? Unbelievable. And that's what we're going to bring to you too. I remember when I first learned or came across this information and learned, uh, you know, raised methods, I had the same impression, like, wow, uh, I can't believe this actually, someone's actually taken the time to articulate and put all this together. Um, <laughs> but Ray mentioned uh, another thing that I wanted to touch on, and it's very important. You know, markets are built around access to information. So, you know, by joining this course, you're going to join a group of high level thinkers a group of intellectuals, a group of successful traders and analysts, and we share our information with each other. Uh, I know that I wasn't present for 2013, but Ray, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the transparency is is very much there. I mean, Ray and I, we we're going to talk about our positions in the market and, and why, and you're going to have an opportunity to earn while you learn, which makes this course so unique. And Ray, correct me if I'm wrong, you had a student last time that uh, did very well uh, in the market while he was still in the program. Well, in the very first course, at the end of the first course, uh, he came up to me afterwards uh, and said he made $40,000 during this course, which more than, more than paid for all of the courses yeah. combined. And that's, you know, those kinds of stories aren't unusual. I had another client uh, who worked with us a number of years, um, taken, you know, market letters, daily uh, reports, so weekly reports. He started out with a $60,000 account in his IRA. Uh, within three years, it was over $600,000. Wow, that's, that's amazing. I had another guy just last year, uh, and he's an excellent trader. He's kind of a well-known trader, but he wanted to try my methodology, the MA methodology for the gold market. And so he took our day report, and he sent me his October statement, October 2018, 2019, I forget which one. And he started, it was a small account. He's wanted to trade our, our, our methods and uh, our recommendations. He started with $11,000. At the end of the month, he had 66,000. He didn't have a single loss that whole month. Where else are you gonna find that at, Ray? Uh, MMTA. You're gonna teach him, Johnny. I'm gonna teach him how to do this, yeah. how this works. And it's not just, it's not just uh, one technique. You know, a lot of people, in the, a lot of people have, have asked, you know, why do you have to take two years to learn this? It's rigorous. Should, yeah, it, shouldn't it be simple? Um, it, m making money in the markets year after year on a consistent basis is not simple. I will tell you, it took me 10 years to get to that point where I was consistently making money. Up until then, I struggled my first 10 years. And I wish I had had somebody or some course to have guide me in those first 10 years instead of having to struggle all myself. And it wasn't until I decided to actually go into the books, look at the charts, look at every day the Dow has traded since 1928. Every single day, same thing with gold since it started trading. Examine every single day from a cycles point of view, from a geocosmic point of view, from an oscillator point of view, from a chart pattern point of view, and identify those unique times when all of them come together, majority of them come together to put on a trade. That's what I did, and that's what began to change the course of my financial destiny. Ray, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned the amount of time it takes to become a successful trader because uh, it took me about five years to uh, become a you know consistent trader, uh, which is so important. However, I met you fairly early on in that in that process. I was at about uh, year three, four uh, when I met you and came across mm -hmm. your methods. And I'll never forget, uh, you know, Ray's from Michigan. I, I currently still live in Michigan. Uh, he actually grew up not even like 40 minutes away from where I grew up in Michigan. And when I came across his work, uh, you know, I got into the whole WD GAN uh, rabbit hole. And so I got into financial astrology and then I found Ray's work and I was like, oh, wow, this guy's in Michigan. Let me reach out to him. <laughs> So I'll never forget it. We, we met for dinner at Lely's, which is a restaurant uh, in Farmington, right? Is that where it's at? Yes, it's in yeah, Farmington, Farmington Hills, yes. Michigan. And uh, it was June of 2016. And we were talking about the markets and uh, Ray was like, well, you should come out to ESAR in Los Angeles uh, in October of that year. And I said, well, you know, I'm 
still, uh, you know, a little uncertain about what I want to do and whatnot. Well, he's like, well, how about you short treasuries uh, to fund for your trip? And I was like, what do you mean short treasury? short treasuries and uh lo and behold i didn't short treasuries but i wish i did because interest rates put in a a major bottom in july of 20 support uh 2016 and then went on to rally for about two years afterwards uh but needless to say i did go to esar uh that that uh year in october of 2016 um and i'm glad i did because i remember even being there and ray called the high in the dollar uh yeah. i remember he called for a high and we pretty much declined for the next two years I remember that that was in Los Angeles and you were there when I was giving the talk on the US dollar and the presidential election and geocosmics. Yep. And yeah, we had the uh, high for the dollar called in January of 2017, give or take six months. It was actually January 3rd, 2017, the dollar topped out. These are just a few of the many examples we could give you on how this methodology has worked so impressively even to this day i'm still amazed you know i mentioned that you know i've become a successful trader johnny is a successful trader but you know even as a success a successful trader i still never feel like i'm success like i'm that successful because it's a challenge every day is a challenge you go into the market and you think well do i want to be long or short this day what's the and then you want to keep in in mind the longer term picture what is the trend? Where is it likely to top out? Where am I in the cycle? And as I say, these are the kinds of experiences that I can share with you and Johnny can now share with you. And I'm really looking forward to starting MMA2, MMTA2 in January with you, Johnny. Yeah, so am I, Ray. And um, one of the things, you know, we have to be cognizant that the market is a constantly mutable mechanism it's it's very nature is that it's constantly changing so if you don't have a framework or a structure to approach the market with you're gonna have a really tough time keeping up with the day-to-day -day fluctuations and changes in information and whatnot the mma method gives you a coherent solid time-tested ability to approach the market and you know you're going to be able to look at a chart and say, are we in a bull market or a bear market? Where are we cyclically speaking? Where are we technically speaking? And here's this next point is the key that where Ray is such a trailblazer in. You're going to be able to look and see where we are geocosmically yeah. because it's the aspects that tend to correspond with the cycles and a lot of times even price to that make this methodology uh, so mind blowing uh, at many times. Let's talk about what the requirements are that we have for people who want to enroll into this course, because we're not going, we don't accept just anybody into this course. Okay. Um, there are certain characteristics we're looking for here. You know, Johnny, from your own experience, and I know from my own experience that most of the people that we deal with in the financial industry are honest people. They're, they're good people. They're honest people, but there are also quite a few people who are, you know, they, let's, for lack of a better word, they're dubious. <laughs> they're people right. who are just in the business of money because they want the money. <laughs> right. We go beyond that. Our, our mindset, our ethic, if you will, is honesty, sincerity, passion to learn, and desire to be a service and to help other people. So we're not looking for people who got an attitude, who are coming in here just to take advantage of other people by saying, well, I studied with the, uh, you know, the Merriman Market Time Academy, so I've got this background. No, we've got to make sure, we want to make sure that you are somebody who's going to represent the high standards that we have put together in our own work. And so we're looking for character. We're looking for competency. We're looking for knowledge. We're looking for passion. So you're gonna go through an interview process. And Johnny, why don't I turn this over to you to describe to them what the interview process is before somebody can be accepted into this program. Yes, absolutely. So there, there are a couple of requirements that prospective students need to uh, satisfy before, uh, quite frankly, we allow them into the program. So the first thing is that uh, you have to sit down uh, and have an interview with yours truly. Uh, and the interview is very casual, you know, we're just gonna, I wanna find out a little bit about your background and 
Um, do you have any backgrounds in trading, astrology, or what have you? Um, most of our students tend to have a background in one of those fields, but if you don't, that's okay, um, because we're going to teach the basics of and the advanced uh, techniques of, of both fields. So after we have the interview process, and uh, if you decide to go, you know, proceed with the program, there is a pre-entrance exam that all students must complete before we start the first course. And the reason we do that is because we want to know that you have a basic understanding of the basics of astrology. And what I mean by that is, do you know the difference between a sextile or a square aspect? Do you know the difference between a fire sign and a water sign? So on and so forth. So in terms of uh, requirements to get into the course, that's pretty much it. But then there's the uh, time commitment as well. And as I briefly alluded to earlier on in this discussion, um, the classes are going to be conducted every Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern time, and they last about two hours. And then we have about a month in between each uh, course. Now, in between each course, students that want to receive the MMTA certification, this is optional, but if you're going to take the course, I highly encourage people to go through with this, you will need to pass an exam at the end of each course. Then you also need to conduct a research project, uh, either independently or in groups. It depends on the uh, course and what we're studying. But uh, this provides you an opportunity to get certification uh, by uh, MMTA. But again, they are not mandatory. Some people just want the knowledge. Some people just want the access to the network, to the uh, information. Again, markets are built around access to information. Um, and so that's, that's where we stand with that. Now, each course comes with a course workbook. And these are workbooks that Ray wrote up. They are comprised of um, all of his quantitative studies, charts, graphs, um, you know, even qualitative analysis as well. And then we have the PowerPoint slides. Personally, myself, I like to read the course book ahead of the class so I can participate in the discussion. But you don't have to because during the class itself, we go through everything in the course book, we go through the PowerPoints, but it's kind of like it's exposing you two to three times to the material instead of just one time during the class. So it really is what you make of it. The onus is on the student to make the best of the program themselves. And, uh, you know, we're going to ask our best students uh, in the course to continue the research with us if we if we think that they have, um, you know, the tools and the character that we're looking for. Uh, but the only ones that will be uh, that will be qualified to continue the research with us will be those that complete the MMA exams after each course and complete the, and those right. that complete the research projects. Correct. Yeah, I just want to reiterate how the courses are structured so that you have no confusion as to what you're getting into. So as Johnny mentioned, there are eight courses. Within each course, there's approximately 10 to 20 classes. So you may get two or three classes each day. So you're gonna have, you're gonna have uh, each course uh, comprised of six or seven sessions that last about two hours each on a Saturday. Then you're gonna take a break for a month. And during that break, you're gonna do a research project. You can do it with other people in your class or you can do it on your own, whatever is most comfortable for you. You come back a month later and you take the next course. After you complete four courses, that's the first year. Then you're gonna have a three month break and we're gonna follow the same procedure uh, into the next year. Now, Johnny, I haven't told you this yet, but course number eight, Okay. if everybody's up for it, I'm gonna ask them to meet in person in Michigan at the Michigan State University Educational Center. We conducted courses uh, six, seven, seven, eight years ago. I want everybody to meet one another, to take the courses all at once and you know, develop the bonds that the people in, in, in the first sessions of uh, MMT have developed, which have been so valuable uh, in their careers. Well, that's the first I've heard of it, and I really like the idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be an amazing and uh, an incredible inner uh, experience and in, in a, a big step in your movement, in your evolution to become a successful, uh, competent market timing 
Now, uh, now, Ray, to be clear, to be clear, however, that's not going to be mandatory for any aspiring students. No, in fact, those who cannot make it, we will have it via a webinar too. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have Zoom for those Zoom. people who want yeah. to come together. And I'm also going to invite everybody from court, the first, you know, MMTA one. I'm going to invite them to come too to 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 you know welcome all the new graduates. I right. think it's going to be a, a tremendous experience when we all come together and meet each other after two years. Yeah, I agree. That that would that would be awesome, and I'm excited that uh, that's what we're how we're deciding to proceed. So let's talk about who's going to be taking the course. You alluded to this earlier, and I want you to know that people from all over the world are going to come. I would say probably half or less than half the people who attend this course are from the United States. Yeah. For example, in course one, these are just a couple of um, examples of people who took the course and what they're doing today. We have Irma Scott from Amsterdam, Netherlands. She now has her own uh, trading company, the, the Scott Market Timing uh, Company. She puts out her own newsletters. Uh, she also is a money manager. She works closely with another graduate from our course, uh, who is Ulrich Asperin. And Ulrich is currently the analyst for the Euro in the MA Cycles Report the US dollar, the British pound. Uh, we also have Mark Shadaman uh, from San Diego. Uh, he is the editor of the ICR, the International Cycles Report for Commodities and Financials, which also uses other analysts, uh, others who have graduated as MMTA um, uh, enrollees. So, we also have Kat Paul. She's our soybean analyst. She lives here in Scottsdale, Arizona. We have Ken Lau of Beijing, who analyzes the Hang Seng Index of uh, Hong Kong. Isabella Sulimanova from San Diego, who covers our grain markets, uh, corn, wheat, and coffee. Massimo Moraz from Verona, Italy, who was covering live cattle until Johnny uh, assumed that uh, role. Nitin Bandari, one of the top uh, graduates from MMTA, now lives in Mumbai, India. And he, he was our crude oil analyst, which now Johnny does, but uh, Nitin has his own market analysis firm, an advisory firm out of Mumbai. These are just some of the people who have taken course, the first offering of MMTA, and an idea of what they're doing with it today. They're in the business, many of them, uh, there's others I could mention who are doing their own investing in trading, um, using the techniques that we have uh, presented here. And this is the process. This is the structure. This is the information, the skill set, the training that we are offering you in this unique opportunity starting January 16, 2020. Yeah, that's exactly it, Ray. And I've had the pleasure of getting to know many of those analysts, uh, especially Mark and Ulrich. Uh, Mark, you know, he's the editor of ICR, like you mentioned, and I'm uh, an analyst in that report as well. So I've been working with Mark fairly closely for about two years, and he's made some incredible call calls over the year, uh, wow. especially in gold miners and, uh, and the Russell Index. And then Ulrich, I've had the uh, pleasure of working with him as well. Uh, and he just absolutely nailed the, the, the Euro call this year. I mean, uh, I, I was actually, uh, you know, a little bit of a dollar bowl early this year, but, you know, Ulrich really owned that market and it just ripped higher this year. And he, he yeah. nailed it. It was back in May. I think he was calling for the Euro to go up to over 120. And now uh, here we are. So let's talk about the cost. Okay, so Johnny, if you can bring that up here, let's yep. go, let's have you go over this. What is the cost for somebody who wants to take the two-year program? And what are the options that they're not sure they want to take the program? What are the different options they can subscribe to? Sure. So the two-year program cost is $12,000. However, we are running a special now for pre-enrollees. Okay, we have a 10% discount window that lasts until December 14th. 2020. So this would bring the total cost for the two-year program down to 10,800. Now to put this in perspective for, for our viewers, Ray charged $20,000, is that correct? For this That's to be right. in person back in 2013. 
So yeah, they not only paid twenty thousand savings. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they only paid twenty thousand. They had huge travel expenses too. Right. So this is a much uh, more affordable program than we offered in 2013, 2014. Yeah, so that's that's uh, excellent that we have that opportunity uh, for prospective students. Now, here's another uh, great special that we have. We're going to offer an additional ten percent discount for all subscribers to the MMA Daily Reports or the MMA Weekly Reports or annual subscribers to the MMA monthly or ICR reports. So this additional 10% discount could bring the cost down to 9,720 US dollars. Now, for those who do not want to make a two-year commitment up front, you have the option to pay $6,600 per year. And then of course, if there are particular courses that interest you more than others and you don't want to commit to the whole two-year program, you have the option to purchase individual courses for $1,800 each. Now, all of this information can be uh, looked at further at the uh, web link on this slide. And then of course, you can call uh, the MMA service number at 1-800-622-3349 or email customer service at mmacycles.com. That's great. Well, that gets across the basic information on MMTA and the exceptional opportunity that's going to be available to anyone who's watching this and goes through our interview process starting in January. With the time we have remaining, Johnny, why don't we show a couple other examples as to just sure. how MMA methodology has worked so well in timing various financial markets in the past. Let's look at a couple examples here. Okay, you have to start with your legendary crude oil call from the mid 2000s. <laughs> okay, so here I was at the UAC, the, U the uh, United Astrological Conference uh, in Denver in May, uh, I think it was middle May of 2008. And there's 1500 people there and I'm giving a talk on the coming green revolution before the coming green revolution was really well known. And just to show you how important that was, how significant it was, uh, there was no green revolution yet. Crude oil was trading well over $100 a barrel at that point. In fact, if you go back the last couple of years before then, I was forecasting that crude oil would reach $100 from 2005 through 2007. I was one of the first, if not the first, to call for $100 crude oil. So here we are in 2008 and crude oil is already over $100. And I make the forecast that very, very soon now in 2008, while Uranus is in Pisces ruling crude oil, the boom bust cycle, the crude oil is gonna to top out this year. And from this top, you're gonna to see a 77 to 93% decline. So that was in May, and the price I gave on that was $144 a barrel, give or take $8.50. And as you can see from this chart, it was only about six weeks later, crude oil topped out at $147.27. And within the next six months, it dropped to $33 a barrel, a decline of 78%. That put me on the map with a lot of traders. A lot of people were in the energy field. And uh, subscriptions, of course, you know, uh, exploded when that got known. Got the okay, next chart yeah. there? <laughs> yeah, there's uh, another. So this was when you, a little this more. This is when I started calling yeah. for crude oil to be $100 yeah. a barrel. And you can see it's trained between 50 and 75. And I'm saying it's gonna break out. It's gonna go to at least $100. I don't think anybody else was saying it. Maybe there was somebody else. I think somebody else did it shortly after. But we called it right, but we called more right than anybody else at the time based on our studies was the top and the decline. You can see how it fell so hard from that high then. Ray, let's talk about your uh, awesome gold call in uh, August, 2018. Uh, that was not long after I started working with you officially. And, um, you know, I used to be one of those gold bugs. So fortunately I've been accumulating gold over the years, but <laughs> I uh, really started buying gold aggressively uh, at that time, uh, thanks to uh, your call and your analysis on uh, that commodity. Well, that call was based upon the monthly chart here and the long-term cycles. 
You see at number three and three A in 1999 and 2001 goes for about $250 an ounce. And that's what part of what we call the 23 and a half year cycle. And it breaks down into a 7.83 year cycle. So the first phase is number four there, 2008, when gold dropped from 1,030 to 680 in the year 2008. So that was the first third of the cycle. The next third, the next 7.8 year cycle goes to number five. Well, during the course of four to five, gold made an all time high at $1,920 an ounce, number A there. And it dropped to 1,045 an ounce. Now, when you break down that cycle, the 7.83 year cycle into thirds, you get a 31.33 year cycle. And that was due at 5A. Um, in August of 2018. So through my analysis of price objective theories, geocosmic studies, knowing that the 31.3 years, 31.3 month cycle was due in August, the geocosmic was set up for mid-August, my price target was 1140 to 1180, and sure enough on August 16th, it hit 1167, and we put everybody long, and we have been long ever since that point, August 16th, that week of August 16th, below 1190 an ounce, and we stay long until today. And all during that period, from that point to the high we had a few months ago, we kept taking profits on some of the positions, buying them back again, taking profits, buying them back again. I can't tell you how much we've made through our recommendations, but I can tell you this, we've been consistently long throughout this uh, last uh, two and a half to three years. Yeah, Ray, I remember you, you sent out a special alert specifically. It was, um, you know, in the middle of the month, you know, outside of the regular uh, subscription uh, publications. Uh, so that was a special alert that was set up. Yeah, we put all special reports when I see something unique like this happening. I want to make sure everybody knows this is the time to buy. So that's an advantage of being a subscriber to our reports. But the advantage of taking the MMA, MMTA, Market Timing Academy course is that you'll be able to do this too. You'll be able to spot these same opportunities, these same time bands that I'm showing you right now on this chart. You'll be able to do that yourself when you control your own financial destiny, that's which exactly. you'll be able to do through these methodologies that we're talking about. It's exactly it. You know, uh, having uh, been an apprentice of Ray's methods, you know, uh, when he says you're, you're going to be able to do this yourself, I, I find myself outside of even looking at his own analysis, I tend to find myself on the same side of the market as Ray about 90% of the time. Yeah. And for two traders to be on the same side of the market 90% of the time uh, and <laughs> be profitable, <laughs> uh, most importantly, is, is pretty good. So, you know, it, it's a very coherent uh, you know, uh, logical method that, that we're using here. So, uh, Ray, those are great calls, but I want to talk about some of my calls too. Yeah, let's look at some of your calls. You've made some amazing calls as well. Yep. So, uh, the big one in the ICR report this year uh, was we got short the Australian stock market right before the corona crash in February. So, uh, we had a couple long term cycles maturing, especially the uh, four year cycle, and then we became extremely late in the primary cycle. Um, and so we were actually two thirds long uh, near the all time highs in the Australian stock market. And we told subscribers, uh, both position traders and aggressive traders to close out longs and probe the short side. And uh, we just made uh, buckets uh, of, of money on the downside. Now, full disclosure, uh, we, you know, we didn't, uh, we basically, we covered our, long, our short positions and we got back long, we got stopped out on the ensuing longs, but you know, that's okay. Uh, the stop losses always are smaller uh, than, the, uh, than the gains. So that was uh, a nice call that we had in the uh, ASX Excellent. this Excellent. year. And then uh, most recently, Ray mentioned how I'm the uh, editor of the crude oil report. Uh, we shorted the primary cycle high uh, from August of this year. Um, we basically called the uh, long-term cycle bottoms when they happened. In April, when we suffered hyper deflation, is what we're calling it, in the crude oil market, when prices in the last day of the May contract uh, traded down to what, negative 38, I think, uh, totally unprecedented. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but that there's a good chance that's a long-term primary cycle low, uh, 36 year cycle, 18 year cycle, uh, so on and so forth. But most recently we um, shorted uh, crude oil right here and it dropped about uh, five bucks in like three, four days. And yeah. uh, for those of you that trade futures, you know that that's a pretty significant amount uh, of, uh, of, of a price move to happen in a short amount of time. So we had a really nice profitable trade recently in crude oil. And uh, there's a bunch more examples, but my understanding is that we need to uh, wrap this up here shortly, right? <laughs> yes, yes, Johnny. Thank you so much for being part of this presentation with me. And so what do you do now, those of you who are viewing it? If you are interested in learning this methodology, in enrolling in the MMTA course that starts January 16th, contact us. Let us know you're interested. Johnny will give you a call. He'll discuss it with you one-on-one, -on -one, person to person. You can ask him any questions you want. Um, we're here to be of help to you. Our goal uh, with Merriman Market Timing Academy is to be of service and to provide the best education you can get anywhere in the world involving market timing studies and how it integrates with cycles, geocosmic studies, trend analysis, price objective theory, chart pattern recognition, technical analysis. This is what we offer. We think it's the most impressive, uh, thorough, um, excellent course that you're gonna find anywhere in the world today. And so if you're interested, we'd like to hear from you and we'd like to work with you. Thank you for being part of this today. Thanks, Ray. And I just wanna say one last thing for our viewers before we close out. Uh, you know, I mentioned earlier in this uh, video that uh, I got into financial astrology because I went down the WD GAN rabbit hole. Well, I can say uh, with a very high degree of confidence that Ray is the closest thing to a living WD GAN <laughs> we have uh, in the trading community today. And uh, we would all be wise to uh, make use of this uh, information and knowledge that he's compiled over the years and uh, even more importantly, build on it and truly build a, um, a legacy and a community centered around all the work that he's done in the last 40 years. Thank you for saying that, Johnny. That is a secondary goal that I have to, to build a community that perpetuates the research, the knowledge, and the sharing of, the, of this information with other people in the world so that this can be a valuable tool for society and for individuals who really do want to control their financial destiny. Thank you. Thank you, Ray.